Good morning. Welcome to worship. What a blessing it is for us to be able to gather together to give thanks to God and to praise the Lord as a family. Let us begin with our call to worship. God's promises are sure. We will go where God sends us. God has richly blessed us. We will go to others. Will you please join in singing number 535 in the Green Book? We confess our God before we confess our sins before God and one another. God of promise, you have given us all we are and all we have, and still we have not trusted you fully. We have tried to be God in our own lives, hurting others and those around us in our attempts to control. Wash us clean in the waters of your salvation and bring us back into right relationship with you. God welcomes us home. He welcomes us home with open arms and forgives us all our sin for the sake of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, live in the promise of God's love freely given. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. God of blessing, he called Abraham and Sarah to leave all they knew in order to follow you, and without hesitation they went. Give us that same trust in you, that we might follow where you lead. Amen.
Let us read the Psalms responsively. Psalm 33, verses 1 through 12. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous praise befits the upright. Praise the Lord with the lyre. Make melody to him with the harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, and all their host by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea as in a bottle. He put the deeps in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it stood firm. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He frustrates the plans of the peoples. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as is his heritage. Our gospel reading comes from Matthew 28, verses 19 through 20. Jesus said, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Here ends the reading. I know, it's such a fun song. <clears throat> Our reading for meditation today is from the, reading, uh, from the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verses 1 through 9. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and the one who curses you I will curse. And in all the families of the earth, and in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went, as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Abram took his wife, Sari, and his brother's son, Lot, and all the possessions that they had gathered and the persons whom they had acquired in Haran, and they set forth to go to the land of Canaan. When they had come to the land of Canaan, Abram passed through the land to the place of Shechem, to the oak of Morah. At that time the Canaanites were in the land. Then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built there an altar to the Lord, who had appeared to him. From there he moved on to the hill country on the, west, on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent, with Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. And there he built an altar to the Lord and invoked the name of the Lord. And Abram journeyed on by stages toward the Negeb. This is the word of God. Please be seated. I invite the children who are here to come forward at this time. <laughs> that is a happy piece right there. <laughs> Hi. 
Hi, hi everybody, I have something for you. You know, these cups have come a long way to be with you today. These cups used to live in the basement of my sister's house. And I don't know how old they are, but they're still good. So we're gonna use them today to help us understand what blessing means. Some of these cups have a joke on them. <clears throat> there you go. There you are. Is that everybody? Okay. <clears throat> Miranda, would you do me a favor? Would you fill two cups? Because there's somebody over there that I want you to give that to when, they, when we're all done, okay? Okay, so somebody tell me what a blessing is. Not right now, not right now. I'll tell you. Perfect. Okay, somebody tell me, what's a blessing? Yeah? Blessing, prayer, when you pray, that can be a blessing. Yes. When you wish for something, kind of. <clears throat> a blessing is something that you receive, something that we all receive, that is meant to make our life good, okay? So I want us to think about all of the different blessings that you have. And for each blessing that you can tell me, we're gonna take turns, you get a Skittle, okay? All right, so, um, or maybe two or three Skittles, because I don't know how to, okay. So what is a blessing in your life? Something that makes your life good? Um, what is something in your life? Uh, my doggy. Yeah, dogs are awesome, aren't they? Okay, what's a blessing in your life? My dog. Okay, what's a blessing in your life? Something that makes your life good. Uh, my dog. Cool. I love all these dogs. What's something in your life that makes your life good? My what? Your what? What's something in your life? Mama. Mama. Come here, give me your cup a second. Miranda, what's something in your life that makes it good? My family. Your family. Here, we're gonna put a few in here too. What's the other one? What's something? Well, that's fine. Family. Okay, Jackson, what's something in your life that makes it good? Family. Lincoln, what's something you like in your family? Do you like your dog? You like your dog? Oh, yeah. Artie, what's something in your life that's good? Your family. Okay, how many Skittles do you have in your cup? Six. Six? That's not enough. You have more than six blessings, don't you? Right? Uh, did you have food to eat today? Yeah. yeah. Did you get to sleep in a bed last night? Did you get rained on over the week or did your house leak? No, no your house didn't leak? Okay. Uh, did you get to go to school? Yeah. Okay, that's a blessing. Well, that's all right, that's a blessing too. Here, get a day off. Did you get to play outside? Yeah, not sure. Did you, did you get to brush your teeth? Okay, cool. Did you, did you get to hang out with your mom and dad? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Did you get to play with your friends? Great. Did you, mm, oh, do you have toys at your house? Yeah? Can I, here. There, have some more blessings. Do you, do you have enough clothes to wear? Okay, cool. Um, do you, do you get to take a good deep breath and breathe out? That's breathing, that's air, that's a blessing. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, stop eating your Skittles for a second, I know it's really hard. Okay, I'm gonna put a few more in here. 
and a few more in your cup. Now, what I want you to do, because when, Jesus, when God said to Abram, you're going to be a blessing, and God blessed Abram, God said, now here's the thing. When you get your blessings, you don't get to keep them for yourself. You get to share your blessings so that everybody else can be blessed. So here's what you're going to do. We're going to say a prayer, and then you are going to share your Skittles with everybody else. Okay, so we have to make sure that everybody gets a Skittle, okay? Okay, now, <clears throat> I particularly want you to make sure that your grandpa gets a Skittle, okay? Okay, cool. All right, let's say a prayer. Hmm. Dear Jesus, thank you for being in our hearts. Thank you for blessing us with everything good that we have. Thank you for blessing us with all of the things that are in our life that make it good. Help us to remember to share all those blessings with everybody around us. In your name we pray. And all God's children said? Amen. Okay, go ahead and stand up. And I want to make sure that you share your blessings, your Skittle blessings, with everybody else. That's yours. Cool. Thanks, Miranda. Thanks, you guys. Good job. Now make sure everybody gets one. Oh, there. You, all my Skittles are gone. Isn't that the way it's supposed to be, though? That's how it is with blessings, isn't it? We receive and we receive and we receive. And if we are doing what God asks us to do, if we are trusting him with our blessings, then we give and we give and we give. And isn't it just a wonderful blessing that there are so many children here today to share these blessings with you? Okay, I need you to raise your hand if you didn't get a blessing, Skittle. Okay. Uh oh. You know what? Ruby didn't get a Skittle. Thanks, Weston. You know what? There we go. There we go. Good job. <laughs> hey Sonia, I got a question for you. Did you get a blessing? Yes. How many blessings do you get from your sister? Can you count them all? You got three Skittles. Good. Okay. That's a good start for blessings. Did you, and, and uh, Joanna, do you still have blessings in your cup? Good. All right, see, this worked so good, didn't it? Because now we all understand that our cups never go empty. Well, our Skittles disappear, because that's the thing about Skittles. But God's blessings are so different than the blessings that we give, because sometimes the blessings we, that we give we forget to share, thinking that, oh, you know, if I share all of my blessings, then I won't have enough left for myself. But that isn't what God told Abram, and that's not the promise that God made to Abram, and that promise that God makes to us is that if we are willing to listen to what God wants, just as Abram did, and we trust that God will provide, then all of the blessings that we receive can be shared with everybody else because that's what God said to Abram. I will bless you and you will bless the world. The world will be blessed through you. And Abram was awesome, wasn't he? I mean, 
think about what it, I mean, he was a hero. He's a hero in the Old Testament. He's just living his life and everything is fine and his, God says to him, okay, I want you to go ahead and just go. Just go. Leave your father's home. Leave your land. Leave your safety and security to the place where I will tell you. You will notice when God says to Noah, just go, or not Noah, Abraham, Abram, just go. God does not give Abram an end point. When we plan a trip, we'd say to the computer, we say to the map, we look at the map and we say, I'm here and I want to be there. And here's the route I'm going to take and we plug it into our Siri, we plug it into our, our car computer and, and we go but we have directions, and we have an end point. But that's not, what, that's not what Abram had. Abram had the word of God, a command. Go, to, go, and I will tell you where. That's a lot of trust to put in God, isn't it? Would we be willing to leave all of the security, all of the blessings that we have in our life right now if God were to say, go. I don't know. And I know, I know pretty sure, I am, am pretty sure that I would not be willing to go without knowing where I was going. But we do that all the time, don't we? We do, we get up in the morning, we don't have any idea what the world is, or what the, what the day is gonna bring us, we don't have any idea what the world is gonna lay at our feet. We have no idea. We have a plan, right? We have a plan, but if you go look at the, at the psalm that we read together with Stephanie today, God disrupts the plans of humans. We have a plan, but we may not get to keep it. And when we don't get to keep our daily plan, I don't know about you, but I get a little bit, um, oh, what's a good word for it? Flustered. Let's say flustered. Because I want to be going this way and everything else is leading me that way. And the more I struggle to go this way, the harder I'm pulled that way. And pretty soon, by the end of the day, I think to myself, well, I didn't get anything done today. Well, I didn't get anything done this way, but I sure got a lot done this way. But that's not my plan. And maybe Abram had a plan. He was 75 years old. Maybe his plan was just to finish out his life in peace. Maybe he was ready to retire. <laughs> but that's not God's plan. God's plan came with promises, and that's the thing about blessings. When God blesses us, it's a promise. A promise that we will be taken care of, that we will be provided for. And with each promise, with each gift that God gives us, we have the ability to bless others with it. You have a gift, each and every one of you. We all have gifts, blessings that God has given us. Some have the gift of teaching and so they share their knowledge and they teach. Some of us have the, not, have the ability, the gift of a companionship. And we all receive a blessing from that person's gift when we are in their company. You all have a gift. We all have blessings. The thing is, is that sometimes our blessings, we look at them and we think that they're a burden. Sometimes they are to us. They feel like a burden. I imagine that Abram felt burdened by some of the things that God promised. Because as much of a hero as Abram was to follow God's command to go, Abram was also human and just like one of us. 
And throughout all of the journey that God took Abram, <laughs> Abram wasn't always the hero. Abram lied. Abram was deceitful. Abram did not believe God. Abram even got mad at God, just like us, just like us. Out of fear, sometimes we don't tell the truth. Out of anger, sometimes we curse. That's how it works. But just like God worked with Abram, God works with us. God didn't say to Abram the first time that Abram didn't trust God, well, okay, well, this is over now. You're stuck here. I'm done. I don't want to play with you anymore. You didn't follow the rules. No. God said to Abram, I'm here. Trust me. I'm going to keep my promises. And maybe you don't get to live to see them fulfilled, but you still receive the blessing. Abram didn't live to see God's promise fulfilled that he would make a great nation out of one person, two people, Abraham and Sarah. We don't necessarily get to live to see, live long enough to see the fulfillment of God's promises, but we get to live in God's blessings while we wait. And sometimes when somebody says, well, just wait, it'll be, it'll, it'll be over soon. Huh. Like, I don't know, going to the dentist. Ugh. I like dentists. They do good things for my teeth. While we wait for the fulfillment of God's promises, all of God's promises, we are blessed. We are blessed not for our own honor or for our own um, sake, but we are blessed to be blessings to each other, to share. Now, here's a good question for you. Adults in the room, when the children brought their Skittle blessing to you, how many blessings did you receive? And I'm not talking about how many Skittles you received. I'm talking about how you were blessed besides the Skittle. I'm blessed by just their presence here in this place. I'm blessed by the presence of you in this place. I'm blessed that no matter how unorganized and unprepared I feel on Sunday morning, you all sit here and listen to me. I don't understand. This was never supposed to be because that was not my plan, but God blessed me. And through that, I don't get to keep it to myself. I get to share it with you. And you bless me. So this afternoon, when you are at home and you're hanging out and you're taking your, you're done with your morning or your afternoon nap because I'm going to have one, y'all should take a nap. That's a blessing. I want you to think I want you to thank God for the blessings that you have received, the ones that you don't even think about, the blessing of just being present, alive in God's world, and go out and take a good deep breath of the fall air and watch the leaves fall and watch the grass turn and just be still and know that God is with you and you are a blessing. In Jesus' name, amen.
invite you to stand as you are able. We will profess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Confident in the promises of our covenant God, we pray for the church, the world, and all those in need. God of abundant blessing, your extravagant love for Abraham became blessing for all the earth. Make us instruments of blessing for others so that they may know your love. God of promise, you hear our prayer. Make every blade of grass, every drop of dew, and every wisp of wind reminders that your creation is a precious gift entrusted to our care. God of promise, you hear our prayer. Make every conversation in boardrooms and government offices, in community halls and household kitchens, contribute to the blessings that you intend for all creation. God of promise, you hear our prayer. Make every medicine, every healer, every prayer warrior, and all who heal instruments of your divine healing. Bring healing and wholeness to all who need care, especially those we name in our hearts today. God of promise, you hear our prayer. Make every hungry belly, every unsheltered head, every sick soul, and every exiled person find love, acceptance, nourishment, housing, and aid. God of promise, you hear our prayer. With gratitude, we remember all the saints who have fulfilled your call to bring blessings to this world. Unite us again with them when all the world is made new. God of promise, you hear our prayer. Trusting in your grace and mercy, we lift these prayers to you in the name of Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Will you please share a word of peace with each other? You may be seated whenever you're ready, and we'll receive our offering at this time. If the children would like to come up and share their offering, they're welcome to bring it now.
Spirit. Let us pray. God, you have blessed us to be a blessing to the world. Use these gifts, we pray, for the good of all those in need of your loving care. Amen. Please be seated. I have a few announcements to share with you. We um, will have kids connecting through Christ here on Wednesday at 315. We do have snacks for this coming week, but if you can help by providing snack, please, shine, uh, please sign up on the, on the board. Faith Formation meets on Wednesday at 3.45. The kids are here. Um, we have some kids here from confirmation class. If they get, approach you during fellowship time, it's because a part of their expectation for, confer, or for faith formation is to talk to people and to, to about what we've been learning in class. So if, they, if, if someone comes to you and asks questions, please bless them with your, with your experience and your thoughts. Quilters are hosting barbecue and pie on Friday, and it's always good. I believe it's homecoming week, uh, correct? Yes? And so they, are, they will be here on Friday um, serving bar barbecue and pie, so make sure you take some time out of your schedule. Adult education is scheduled to start on October 5th. We're going to change the time from 6.30 to 6.45. Um, it's a six-week uh, Bible study on um, God's promises and how when we look, um, when we focus back on the life-changing reality of what God promises to us, then we can see our life in a different way through the lens of grace. So if you are interested in participating, please let me know. There's no cost. There's no material. We just need a place where we can all gather. So that will be October 5th at 6.45. Do we have announcement or any um, prayer requests, joys, and concerns today? Yes. And she's here with us. Yay. And you look great. Yeah. I would ask that you would pray for Chad Smith. He had cancer, or he had surgery um, to um, remove some cancer last week. So if you would pray for healing for him and a good outcome. Um, any other pro, uh, prayer requests, joys, concerns? Any other announcements for the congregation? I'm sure I've forgotten something. <laughs> Norm Carlson, uh, 80th birthday party is being celebrated out at St. Joe's from 2 to 4. So if you know Norm and you want some good cake and some good visit time, uh, I'll go out and wish him a happy birthday. We may need... Yeah, if you are, if you have a, if, if you have a, an, a half hour or 45 minutes or so, you could take a look and uh, through the church and see if there's anything that needs to be cleaned up. Um, Kurt is busy helping Chad with harvest, and so um, the church will need to be tended to. There's, a, yep, there's cleaning lists for each of the different areas of the church, so. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just give me a call. I can help with, you, uh, help with that. Now, may the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face shine on us with grace and mercy. May the Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace. Amen. Will you please stand and we'll sing together our sending song, number 699 in the blue book.
Go in peace. Jesus loves you. Thanks be to God.